what is the indefinite integral of 4x times 5 raised to the x squared? In this video, we're going to talk about how to find that indefinite integral. But we need to cover some basics before we work on this problem. So we'll get back to this. What is the indefinite integral of 5 raised to the x dx? How can we find the answer to that? Recall that the derivative of a constant raised to a variable is equal to the same thing a to the u times the derivative of that variable or that variable expression u prime times the natural log of the constant. Well, it turns out that the integral of a to the u du is going to be equal to a to the u divided by u prime times ln a plus the constant of integration. This works if u is a linear function. If it's not a linear function, you need to use other integration techniques to get the right answer. But in this case, the exponent is a linear function. So we could use this formula to get the answer. So the integral of 5 to the x is going to be the same thing 5 to the x divided by the derivative of x, which is 1, times the natural log of 5 plus the constant c. Let's try another example. Find the indefinite integral of 3 raised to the 7x. Go ahead and work on that. So for this problem, what we're going to do is identify each letter. So a in this example is 3, and u is the exponent 7x. So to use this formula, all we need to find out is u prime, the derivative of 7x, which is 7. So it's going to be a to the u, that's 3 raised to the 7x, divided by u prime, which is 7, times ln a, or ln 3 plus the constant of integration. And so that's it for that example. And let's try another one. Let's find the indefinite integral of 9 raised to the 4x plus 5. So what's a, what's u, and what's u prime in this example? a is the base, that's 9. u is the exponent, 4x plus 5. u prime the derivative of 4x plus 5 is just 4. The derivative of 4x is 4, and the derivative of the constant 5 is 0. So this is going to be a to the u, which is 9 raised to the 4x plus 5, divided by u prime, which is 4, times ln a, or ln 9, plus c. And so that's how you can integrate exponential functions of this type. Now let's move on to the original problem that we had at the beginning. Let's find the integral of 4x times 5 raised to the x squared dx. This is a u substitution problem. You just have to recognize it. But we're still going to use the formula that we used earlier in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the u variable equal to x squared. And so du is going to be the derivative of x squared, which is 2x times dx. So du over 2x is equal to dx. So we have the integral of 4x times 5. Now let's replace x squared with the u variable. So this is going to be 5 raised to the u power. And then let's replace a dx with du over 2x. So 4x divided by 2x, that's equal to 2. So we have 2 times the integral of 5 raised to u du. So that's going to be 2 times. Now the antiderivative of 5 to the u is going to be the same thing, 5 raised to u divided by u prime. The derivative of u prime in this case is 1. That's with respect to u, not with respect to x, so it's not 2x. So with respect to u, 
the derivative of u is just 1, and then times the natural log of the base, which is 5, plus the constant of integration. So now the last thing we need to do is replace u with what we started with, x squared. So it's going to be 2 times 5 raised to the x squared divided by ln 5 plus c. So that is the answer to this problem. But let's make sure that we have the right answer. How can we check our work to know if we have the right answer? We need to take the derivative of this expression. So let's differentiate that expression with respect to x. So this is the only variable that we have in this expression. Everything else is a constant. So let's move the constant to the front. We have 2 ln 5 times the derivative of 5x squared. And the derivative of a constant, or rather the derivative of the constant c, that's just going to be 0. Now recall that the derivative of a constant raised to a variable, in this case a to the u, is going to be a to the u times u prime times ln a. So a is 5, u is x squared. So it's going to be 5 raised to the x squared times u prime, the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and then times the natural log of the base, or ln 5. So ln 5 cancels, and we have 2 times 2x, which is 4x given us the original problem, 4x times 5 raised to the x squared. So we know that we have the right answer. So this is the indefinite integral of this expression. Now, for the sake of practice, let's work on another example. So go ahead and try this one. Let's say we have the integral of 9x squared times 8 raised to the x cubed dx. Go ahead and pause the video and work on that example. It's very similar to the last one. So just for the sake of practice, just so you know how to solve these types of problems. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to make u equal to x cubed. Once again, we need to use u substitution. The derivative of x cubed will be 3x squared, which we can cancel with that x squared. du is going to be 3x squared dx, and then solving for dx, divided both sides by 3x squared, we get this. dx is equal to du divided by 3x squared. So now, let's replace x cubed with u. So we have 9x squared times 8 raised to the u power. And then let's replace uh, dx with du over 3x squared. So 9x squared divided by 3x squared is 3. So we have 3 times the integral of 8 raised to the u du. So now, Let's find the antiderivative of 8 raised to u. It's going to be the same thing, 8 raised to u divided by u prime. The derivative of u is 1. So we're not looking for this u prime because we integrated it with respect to u, not with respect to x. And then times the natural log of the base 8 plus the constant c. Now the last thing that we need to do is replace the u variable with x cubed. So the final answer is going to be 3 times 8 raised to the x cubed divided by the natural log of 8 plus the constant of integration. So this is it. So now you know how to find the antiderivative of exponential functions. And you know how to use u substitution along with that as well. So that's it for this video. For those of you who are looking for 
other videos on uh, integration, feel free to check out the description section below in this video. I'm going to post some links to some resources that you might find helpful. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.